Hi, I'm Stacy Fetters. I'm a fitness instructor here at Cook Children's Wellness Center. I'm certified in group fitness and personal training. I've taught Pilates for many years, and I'm excited to show you some of the exercises you can do on our new Pilates Reformer. I'd like to show you some of the different parts of the Pilates reformer. I'll start here at the bottom. This is the foot rest. Sometimes you have your feet on it. Sometimes you have your hands on it. It moves. There's a piece here. It can be higher or lower, depending on your height. And this is called the carriage. It's a moving part. So be careful when you're on or around it so that you don't fall down. This is the headrest. There's a little block under it so you can raise it or lower it. You have springs that provide the resistance on the, on the exercises and you hook them onto the little hooks here. Red are the hardest springs and then there's green and yellow are the easiest. So there's three levels of springs. You'll use different resistances based on your strength level and the exercises that you're performing. So I'm going to begin by showing you some exercises. Be careful when you get on. Sit and turn to face the foot bar for these first exercises. I'm going to put a couple of green springs on and a yellow. But you'll have to try it in your own body and see how much resistance that you would like. And I'm going to scoot forward, put both feet on the footrest. My shoulders are against these pads, the shoulder pads. I'm gonna keep a neutral spine as I do these exercises. So we don't overly tuck, we don't overly arch. We're drawing the navel in, lifting the pelvic floor muscles. So you wanna keep a strong core as you do these exercises. We'll take our hands at our sides and lift the heels and keep them there as if you had high heels on. Inhale to prepare, exhale, press out all the way, but don't lock out the knees, inhale, come in. Exhale, press out, inhale, come in. You can do six to 10 reps of, of this position. Then we'll take the heels together, squeezing through the heels and then all the way up to the pubic bone. Inhale to prepare, exhale, squeeze. Squeeze the glutes, draw the navel in, inhale through the nose, exhale through the lips. Exhaling through the lips gives you a stronger abdominal contraction in your transverse abdominis. And next we'll take the feet out wide to the edges, getting more into the adductor, inner thigh muscles. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, keep the spine neutral, navel draws in. We'll bring the feet back in. Working the calves, we'll inhale to prepare. Exhale, bend one knee, drop the other heel down. Exhale, come back up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now we can take calf stretches just up and down. Exhaling as you go out, inhaling as you lower. You could add pulses if you'd like. I'm gonna show you another variation on those exercises that you can add to engage more muscles. We have a ring here, it's called the magic circle. We can hold it in between our thighs, in between our hands, in between our ankles. So when you're doing your footwork, you can hold it up, squeezing, or elbows out like this. So the same thing, what you'd inhale, prepare, Exhale, press out and maybe add a little extra squeeze. This works your chest, back muscles. So it just adds a little upper body to your leg work.
I'm gonna put that down and show you single leg presses. So I'm keeping this knee over the hip. My foot is in line with my knee. And I'll inhale, exhale, press out. Firm core, inhale. Again, you could hold the circle. You could add a variation, a little coordination. Inhale, extend your free leg. Exhale, knee comes in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, come in. And of course, you could do that on both legs. Then leg circles. Externally rotate the leg. Keep your arms at your sides, fingers pressing down. Keep the carriage still. Only move the leg. So you'll inhale, come around, exhale. And then you would reverse direction. About five on each side, five to eight. Bend the knee, and then of course you could do your other leg. Just keeping the knee bent, you can hold the circle, you can extend the leg. So, options. Oh, and I'm coming up. Now I'll show you some exercises with the straps. They have two loops. The smaller one is for the hands. The larger one is for the feet. I will start with the feet. I'm going to show you how to put them on. So take a hold of both handles and then you'll come onto your back. So make sure they're not crossed underneath because they won't work correctly. So I will push out with one foot, lift the other foot up, put it in the larger strap on the arch. How do I get the other one on? I push this leg out, bend this one this knee and put it on the other leg so i have my head rest up my hands at my sides i'm going to bring my feet over my hips inhale i have my heels together toes apart inhale prepare exhale press the legs down the navel stays in and inhale come up so you could do five to ten of these Another variation, knees bent. It's harder with the straps because they work separately while as the springs are working both sides. So this shows you your weaknesses on different, on different sides of your body. So you press out with feet in parallel, exhaling as you press out, inhaling as you come in. We can inhale legs out, exhale heels together, working through the inner thighs. We can do frog legs, heels together, inhale, exhale, press out, squeezing through the inner thighs, leg circles, inhale, lower the legs, exhale, up and together. Nice and smooth, keep the belly tight. Now, and then the other direction, inhale, open, and down exhale up together inhale open and down exhale up and together to take them off take one foot out take that foot to the foot bar press away and you can take the other one out i'll show you some exercises for the upper body with the straps, I'm going to use the circle in between my legs for added lower body as I work the upper body. I'm going to drop a spring. I'm taking one of my green springs off. I will put this circle in between my thighs right above my knees. Put a little squeeze on it. I'll put my hands in the smaller handles. Take my feet off the foot bar. I'll bring my wrists right over my shoulders. Inhale, as you exhale, press down. Inhale, stopping over the shoulders. Exhale, put a squeeze, a little extra squeeze in the circle as you pull down, squeeze the circle. Then you can add on if you want some more upper body abdominals. Inhale, 
exhale, curl up. Inhale, lower the head, bring the arms up. Exhale, squeeze the circle, tuck the chin, pull the straps down. Another variation, arms at your sides in a T-shape, not above the shoulders. Keep them shoulder height so you don't hurt your shoulder joints. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, pull down to the sides, drawing the navel and squeezing the circle. Keep your feet level to your knees, not down here. Inhale, prepare, exhale. Again, you can add that crunch, abdominal crunch. Looking towards your belly. You can even keep the head lifted the whole time. Triceps, you can bend your elbows, wrist over the elbows. Inhale, prepare, exhale. Straighten, squeeze the triceps, squeeze the circle. Inhale, bend, exhale, straighten. Option to add that abdominal curl. And you can also do those same exercises with the legs extended. The legs are in external rotation, toes out, heels in. Same thing, you're squeezing the circle in between the ankles. You could add the crunch. You could add a leg lower and up, or a leg up and then down as you bring the straps up. It's purely up to you. So I'm coming off to show you another way you can work with the straps. And I recommend it, especially if you're new to using the reformer, it'll be easier to keep your spine straight, to keep your spine in neutral. This is the box. It has handles and you're just going to place it on top of the bed where I was lying on my back. And we'll be facing both ways. I'm going to start with facing the, the tower apparatus. That's the metal part. You want to make sure that you're sitting tall so that your shoulders are over your hips, shoulders down and back, abs are engaged. I'll put your hands in the hand straps and sitting up tall, inhaling, exhaling, pulling back, working your back muscles. So a strong forced exhalation to really work your core as you do these exercises. You can do your bicep curls, palms up, exhaling, inhaling. Keep your neck long as you do these exercises. Try not to lean back or forward or slump. You can work your back muscles, long arms, exhaling, pulling out, coming in. You can face the foot bar. Again, whenever you change the straps, make sure you look back, make sure you have this strap over here. You don't cross the straps. And I'm going to hold below the handles. For me, that's more comfortable. Sit up tall, bend your elbows, lift it up, exhale, press forward. It's your chest press. And chest flies. Exhaling as you come in. And I'll come in. You can also lie down on the box. Feet extended out behind you. I didn't lower the foot bar, but you could lower the foot bar. Keep the neck in neutral. Press back. Come down. You can do your triceps here also. Pressing back. Coming in, exhaling on the contraction. And you do however many reps feels right for you on those exercises. Put 
put the box back. And you can also do cardio with this exercise with a piece of equipment called the jump board. So I'm going to move the foot bar out of the way and put the jump board in it. There's a sign that says insert jump board. So it couldn't be any easier. So this notch here, the wooden part at the bottom, it goes into the slot. There it is. So you'll lie on your back. You can use this circle again while you're doing these if you'd like. You wanna keep your feet up near the top of the jump board. And to start out, just take some lifts and lowers. So you just kind of get used to the feeling of it. And then small jumps. You wanna land toe ball heel. You want your heel to come down and you wanna Start the exhalation before you press out. So I'm just starting with my feet parallel, hip width apart. And I can squeeze that circle as I press out. Or you can keep it low. You can do the different foot positions the same as we did in the footwork. So heels together, pressing out, exhale. The toes are apart, like you have a little slice of pie between your toes and heels. You can all alternate parallel, heels, parallel, heels. Option, one leg, pressing out. So of course it's more resistance because we're just using one leg. You can add that coming out and in. Try to land smoothly. It takes a little bit to get used to it, but just be patient with yourself. So you can add that as you come in, leg extends. You can do straight leg, pressing out, back in. So lots of options. You can do wide legs. You know, a little heel touch as you come out. Sideline. If you'd like, you can use a ball for support. It can be under your body or under your head. And we'll just bend the bottom knee and pressing out through the top leg. Exhaling as you go out. You can change the rotation of the leg, toes slightly up, hitting different areas of the thighs. You can stay out, lifting your bottom leg to meet your top leg. And of course you do these on both sides so you're even. But it adds a cardiovascular aspect to the, the machine and you'll be surprised how much you feel it in your abdominals. And it really does get your heart rate up. It works your thighs, it works your core. And if you hold the circle, you will be working your upper body as well. And now I'll show you the bed. This is the bed, it has handles on it as well to carry it around. I'm gonna unhook the straps, or the, excuse me, the springs. I'm unhooking my springs. And I will move the carriage forward. And on this piece, the little legs you see here, they go up towards the tower. And I forgot, I need to move the foot bar here out of the way. So I moved it towards the tower. And see, I'm using these handles to get the bed on. And it just fits right in there. Now springs. Different tensions on the springs. The green, harder. The yellow, easier. I recommend if you're 
brand new to using this, you might go with the yellow to begin with just to get the feel of the exercises until you add more resistance. Form is most important over resistance to get the exercises to work best for you. So I'm going to show you first, this is called the rollback bar. And I'll be using the long yellow springs. They're so short and long. Shorter, of course, or harder. More resistance. I'm gonna hook it to the third hook down, but depending on your height, as to how high or low you want it. And the carabiners, they open on each end. So you'll put one end at the top and then there's you hook each each end. They're very easy to use. So I'm going to sit back. I'll extend my legs out. I have my feet on the shoulder pads. I'm sitting tall, shoulders down, abdominals in. You just want to have a gaze forward as you start. Inhale to prepare. And then you'll exhale, tuck the chin and then segment your spine. You're lowering from the tailbone and one vertebra at a time. You lower down, head comes down last. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your lips. Curl up, come up slow, gazing at the navel and then looking forward. I'm going to show you an add-on. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Add a chest pull. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Rolling up the back from the top to the bottom. And sit tall. I'll show you that one more time. Inhale to sit tall. Exhale. Tuck the chin. Tuck the tailbone. Roll down vertebra by vertebra. Inhale. Exhale. Pull. Inhale. Extend. And roll up. Inhale. I'll show you one more variation. You can do three pulls. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And to roll up. Inhaling. Sit up tall. Now, hand in the middle of the bar other hand at your side. This will work obliques. Inhale, exhale, rolling down. Inhale here, exhale, tuck, roll up. Inhale, sit tall. Same thing, other side. I'll take this off and put on the foot straps. So we have these extra straps here. I'm going to hook these on. I'm going to show you adductor pulls. You lie on your side. Your bottom leg can be bent. I'm going to exhale as I pull down. Inhale to bring it up. Keep the core tight. We can do leg circles here. Forward, up, behind, together. Inhaling, exhale. And of course you do that in both directions. We can do like forward and back, forward and back. And you can do that on both sides. You can also do some work with the leg, 
putting your foot in the strap, coming to all fours, and taking leg presses back and in. And that'll give you a, a good glute workout. I hope that gave you some ideas of what you can do. You might, at the end, take some stretches. This is bad as a nice place to stretch. To hit your glutes, you can take a figure four stretch. The foot is flexed and you're feeling it here. Nothing in the knee. Keep the foot flexed. Take your hamstring stretches. And do those on both sides. Onto your side, you can take quadricep stretch on both sides keep the knees close together press the hips forward press your foot into your hand your hand into your foot and then you can lengthen your whole body out reach through your right side fingers to toes reach through your left side fingers to toes reach through the whole body and then release and try to keep that length throughout your whole day that lengthen your spine so I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what you can do. There's many more exercises, but those will give you a good start. And we look forward to seeing you here in the Wellness Center to try out the new Pilates machine.